Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to get green screen effect going in iMovie. So the first thing you're going to want is you're going to want some green screen footage and you're going to want uh, some sort of image or video that you want to be behind your subject in the footage. So uh, you can drag and drop, you can go to your finder and just drag and drop them in or you can go use this import media button to get the clips that you need. I'll use the uh, the drag and drop method here, which is my preferred method. There's my green screen footage. And um, then I will get some, I'll get this image here. Uh, and let's get a video as well, if I can find a video. Here we go. Okay, some, some travel footage. Okay, now I've got my clips imported. Now, the first mistake that people often make is they think that the green screen footage should be down here on the main timeline. It actually shouldn't. So first, actually, I probably should have done my images or videos. I'm going to extend this out. I'm just dragging the edge. And then I'm going to put my green screen footage on top of that image. And there you go. So you want the green screen footage to be an overlay over your image or video. So I'll make it a little shorter so I get part of the video as well there. All right, that'll be good. So the next thing to do is to click on your green screen footage right here and make sure you have it highlighted in yellow. And then you can click on this right here. This is the video overlay settings. And instead of cut away, which just shows our footage, we want green slash blue screen. So yeah, iMovie can do blue screen as well. And there we go. Like magic, it just keys out the green. Now, you notice that it's, it's not totally perfect. All right, I'm gonna mute this so we don't have to put up with me talking. So how do we improve it? Well, a couple things. First off, you notice, especially where it's black right here, you can notice some highlights that we don't like on the edges. Uh, let me get that back here. Okay, right here and right here. And you can't really notice them if there's a lot going on, but on some of the quieter spots like this, you can definitely notice it. So we need to get rid of those. We also need to crop it. Okay, so the way that we are gonna go about cleaning this up is we make sure we have our green screen footage highlighted once again. And then right here, we can adjust this. We can adjust the softness. All right, and you can see that that can sometimes make an impact. But we'll keep it in the middle. We can uh, clean this up also with the eraser tool and the cropping. So by default, the cropping here is selected. And all we have to do is drag the edges. Now, sometimes if you're waving your arms around a lot, you can cut off your hands or something like that. Uh, so you don't want to go much further than you need to. We could really, you know, get really close in here. But uh, there's not really a good reason we would need to do that. So we'll just kind of keep it out here a ways. No big deal. But you do notice that's a good way to clean things up. Definitely needed to get rid of that white edge, and we've done that. Now, we will also use this eraser tool. And this is really nice. So you can just click in one spot. Uh, but what I've found recently, and the re one of the reasons I wanted to refilm this is A, for the cropping, which I didn't mention in my last video. And B, you can drag this around. And sometimes there are a variety of areas that can be improved, but you only get to drag it once. So I've dragged it over the problem areas. And now you can see that um, those areas are gone and it's looking pretty good. So Let's play the footage. All right, so looking pretty good there on that one. Now, one thing I'll do is I will adjust this. I don't like the fact that it's zooming in. You probably just want to make it fit or crop to fill, probably. So let's try that again now. Yeah, that's better. So it, look, it can look kind of weird when things are moving. It'll look really weird in this video here. Let's try it out. And uh, you'll notice that I'm, I'm flying around, <laughs> but it works. So one maybe kind of obvious thing to note is that you want to make sure you're not wearing any green while you're taking your green screen footage. Uh, it'll obviously make you see through as well. And if you're wearing like a teal or something like that, uh, it's likely that your shirt will just show up as more blue uh, than teal. So it can change the color or cause worse problems and make it unusable. So. That is how to do green screen effect in iMovie. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Happy to help. And uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe for more. All right, thanks.